Hello. In this video, I'm going to cover why users are migrating from Tableau reports and moving all their reports to Power BI. So there are a lot of reasons to be honest. And one of the important reasons that I feel is the cost. Uh, if you compare one Power BI developer license would cost around $10 per month uh, per user. Whereas in Tableau, one creator license that is needed by a developer uh, is around $70. So this is one of the reason where you know small scale organizations and medium scale organizations are moving from Tableau and migrating all their report to Power BI. And one of the important other reason is because you know how it gels with Microsoft services because you know as you all know Power BI is a Microsoft tool. So it gels well with all the Microsoft tools and services such as Azure, SQL databases hosted inside Azure, Blob Storages, uh, SharePoint List. And it has also, you know, a great connectors for, you know, various tools like QuickBooks, Salesforce, uh, NetSuite, Dynamics 365, Dynamics CRM, Dynamics uh, 360. And if you see some of these connectors that I have just named are also available in Tableau. But if you compare both based on my experience, I mean, the response time in Tableau is quite more. And in Power BI, the Tableau, you know, I mean, in Power BI, the connector just works fine. Also, in terms of tools update, I mean, we all know how AI is growing nowadays. So in Power BI, they are actually launching a new version every month and they are releasing it along with the documentation. But in Tableau, we do receive the updates. But, you know, I mean, those are, I mean, you know, within two to three months span. So it really... Uh, looks like Microsoft is, you know, updating all their software based on the recent changes that has been happening across uh, AI. Also, in terms of development, I mean, in Power BI, uh, I mean, we have a lot of flexibility for developers where they can simply click, drag and drop the visuals and create, you know, all the ETL processes. But in Tableau, uh, we do not have such features, so we always have to write the SQL queries for that, even to write a simple DAX. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of visuals uh, which we can do in Power BI, but not in Tableau that are, you know, widely effective in order to get the insights out of it based on, you know, some data and, uh, you know, why people are shifting from Tableau to Power BI. And I'm also going to cover one use case that we recently completed uh, for one of our client. One of the most useful chart in Power BI is Gauss chart, which is not available in Tableau. So as you can see uh, in Power BI, I can use this Gauss chart where I can have a minimum range, a maximum range, the actual value and a target line. So this actually gives me a good insight on you know what my value should be based on the ranges that I have and if I have achieved the target or not. Coming to the next visual, which is uh, AI Insight. So this is one of the most powerful visual that I feel that is available in Power BI. So here you can write your question in a natural language and Power BI will give you the uh, insight out of it. So for example, if I have to show you I'll click on value and I'll say, tell me the sales for this year and I'll hit save. So based on the data that I have, it gave me the total sales that I have for this year without doing any complex DAX or you know, without writing any formula. So I can achieve this in a natural language. One of the other most important visual I feel is waterfall, which is available in Power BI, but not in Tableau. So as you can see, this actually gives me an impression uh, by comparing my initial value with uh, increase and decrease, you know, basically the incremental increase and decrease and how it affected the final outcome over here. So as you can see, so this was my initial value for this account. And as the time goes, so I had my decrease and then this is the second value, which again got decreased to red. And after coming to here, it got increased. So it is giving me a, 
you know uh, idea how the initial value got increased or decreased and this is the final result apart from this you can get more visuals in power bi so these are the default visuals that we have and if you want more then you can get it from the marketplace you just have to click on get more visual and you should be signed in and here you will able to see a lot of other visuals that are used by developers for creating you know different insights for example here you know uh, a developer can use this to create a org chart in power bi this gan chart is used to create you know the project tracking uh, process how my project is uh, performing i have a date picker as well i have a word cloud where i can see you know what was the most uh, intense word that we have in a particular data set i mean a lot you know a different kind of radar chart and then i have box chart as well a uh, histogram chart so yeah you just have to search over here and almost all the visuals are readily available so let me quickly scroll it to the end yeah these are the uh, different power bi charts that are available i mean you have a lot of uh, variations over here so in tableau if you want to use any visuals outside of the standard visualization you actually have to you know create a custom visual for it install it into your tableau instance and then use it but in power bi as i have showed you these all are readily available now coming to my use case so we have been recently contracted uh, by a us based firm who sells uh insurance policies across us so they have all their data inside snowflake database so they wanted us you know to uh, migrate all their uh, tableau reports that they have in power bi because it was costing them a uh, huge money plus you know they were not able to create the insights that they want to so in this video i'm going to show you uh, that use case that we have completed so these were the views that they currently had in power bi and all these data uh, were coming from uh, snowflake state database that they have and it was costing them a good money so they wanted us to migrate all these views in power bi so as you can see they have used the basic visuals that they have bar chart this is a horizontal bar chart a table uh 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 donut chart and i have again horizontal tables single cards so yeah i mean they wanted to have you know uh much more flexibility in terms of visualizations so these are the different visuals and these all are coming from a snowflake database So the way we have migrated all their reports to Power BI is we have taken a look, uh, you know, in the data transformation that they have done in Tableau Prep, and we have replicated the same inside Power Query. So if I open the Power Query, so the good news is we have a default connector available for Snowflake inside uh, Power BI. So as you can see over here, so I have loaded all the different queries that I have. uh from snowflake instance uh into the power bi report server and as you can see if i scroll down so i have also segregated this uh into different folder these all are dimension tables so if i open this so these all are basically giving me the dimensions and if i go further down these all are my facts table so these all are coming directly from the snowflake table and i have loaded this and if i go to the actual power bi file over here so all these are basically you know uh, completed by writing dax so as you can see after loading the tables i have these calculations that i have written using the dax so for example uh if you see the completed visit so these all are basically different formulas that i have used to calculate the completed visit and i have used that in this report and if i go further down so these all are fact tables which are directly coming from snowflake and these are different slides so basically these are the different views that we have created replicating the uh, you know the the tableau files that they have 
uh, where this is telling me the average daily census. This is episodic admissions trend. And here we have given the branch where they can select one particular branch and see the numbers uh, you know, specific to one branch. This is slide 13 where we are showing the trend by month. And then here we have slide 14 which is basically you know a simple table with the metrics that we have and here we have the date hierarchy where they can slice and dice the data these are different views that we have created to show the average length of stay for discharge patients this is episodic research There is again a different view which is giving me average visits per episode and these are different parameters that they calculate. So this was phase one for them uh, where we have you know uh, taken all the data uh, from Snowflex uh, you know modeled it by replicating all the transformation that they have done inside Tableau Prep and we have done this in Power Query and we have presented the first phase the second phase is basically to improve the visualization of it so currently you know you'll see a lot of tables inside it but what uh, you know uh, what what we are planning is to give some sort of more visuals like this you know the advanced visuals in order for them to you know get more insights from their data so yeah i mean this was one of the use case that i wanted to share with you all and yeah, if you feel you have the similar needs where you want to migrate your Tableau to Power BI, feel free to reach us at vidicop.com.